So today, what are we going to see is about the profile and security settings. Okay. Okay. Uh, so today's classes are going to be first starting with profile. What we saw in profile last time, profile can be given permission to a number of users. I think, did I finish profile before? Did I take I the... text upon them. Uh, some of the basic things you said, uh, I remember you saying that uh, profile once given, it can be given to any number of n number of people. Uh, yeah. And then... Um, Okay, uh, that's all the basics right now. Profile uh, is something that is mandatory for any user that has been that need to be created in Salesforce. Unless like role, you uh, you can create a user without role, even though it is marked as mandatory. It is not that uh, mandatory for creating a user, right? Uh, but profile is something you can uh, you need to give it for a user because basically a user will get access to your org only through profile. So profile can be cloned. Can yes, any profile can be, be cloned? cloned? Any profile, any profile. Can. Okay. Okay. Any profile can be cloned and uh, created again. So let's see. You said uh, you having issues with cloning profile, right? What was the profile you tried cloning? Uh, the marketing user, contact manager. Yeah, marketing user. And it can be cloned on both the pages, classic as well as the lightning. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So last time you saw how to clone it in the classic page. So I'm just showing you how we keep on it the lighting. It's the same thing, but uh, no difference at all. When we try to uh, create the clone, uh, this is what it should. It shared you have created maximum two. Okay, so this is a limitation that we cannot override. That's another reason why I was saying right, that this is a limited R. This is a trial version. That's has a lot okay. of limitations so we cannot so that was the handicap okay right so unfortunately there is no workaround or uh, no fixing it unless we delete the other clone profile uh so <clears throat> you oh. know how to clone it it is very simple just click on this button give it a name that uh, makes sense for your organization or for you <clears throat> and okay. click on save that will automatically okay. save. Cloning is not the biggest challenge here. Okay. Okay. I will work okay. on the developer side. Let's continue. Move on with other things that you had in mind for today. Okay. So uh, as I was saying, uh, users cannot be created without profile because users only get access to your org through profiles. Right. Okay. So basically, uh, when a uh, user is created you give him a set of permission for his uh, activity uh, 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 duty bound right uh, so yeah. uh, that set of access will be given through profile and uh, one user will get only one profile right only okay. one profile can uh, be assigned to a user not multiple okay. profiles okay okay, okay. so uh, basically, a uh, profile is set of access that has been provided for a user. What set of access are being uh, given in profile? So anything and everything is through profile. 
right now first we let's understand this now whatever you are customizing whatever it's already there in salesforce whatever the features offered by salesforce right other than the features or uh, functions which you saw in the user detail page you went through the user detail page and there were a lot of check boxes right like sales uh -huh. cloud user sales crm user salesforce crm user uh, uh offline user marketing user all those you know uh, features or permissions are in the user page but apart from those check boxes you only saw a handful of check boxes of features there okay apart from that all the other basic functionalities okay are given through salesforce and more so when i say basic functionalities like you know uh, setting up the lightning user to having assigned to a application app that you created uh, uh, which default tab should be coming on the top what should be uh, the uh, default uh, page layout given for any object given object what should be the uh, field access each field has in uh, you know, every field you create an object is given access to the user through profiles only are you following me yeah so okay. when we select on the user screen okay mm -hmm. uh, what we got on the where what we get on the profile options in i'm sorry can you repeat the question me? okay what we select on the user screen right Okay, uh, or on top of what we uh, get on the uh, profile option? No, uh, see, you don't, uh, if I'm understanding your question right, you are asking about creating a user right now here. Uh, when, what is this profile you're choosing? What That is the access you're going to get, right? Uh-huh. Right, so whatever profile you're choosing here, that is the access will be given to this user. by okay. default that is okay so now uh, you understand where, where i'm starting from right like starting from uh, having a visibility of records to having uh, the ability to update a field in a record uh, record types uh, page layouts right all this comes through a uh, profile okay and the profile also has many features that is to offer for the uh, users <clears throat> say like having the ability to uh, create report dashboards right managing the dashboard uh -huh. and uh, folders right library uh -huh. license uh, access to uh, create a record or a re only having a read ability or uh, having modify all ability right uh, community okay. access all uh -huh. these comes through profile okay, okay? So it is the overall function and uh, features of Salesforce to which users will gain access from the profile. Okay. Okay. So okay. Uh, there are many segments uh, in the profile. Like uh, now when I say many segments, uh, sections like this console setup, page layout, record type, uh, uh, record type, uh, field accessibility, field level security, uh, so on, so forth. Okay. So okay. we will uh, not see everything, but I will uh, go through the major of ma major things of it. Okay. So okay. the major thing, uh, let's uh, uh, classify this in a very easy manner, uh, where Salesforce has given us the option. Let's see. Okay, so these are the major classifications. Can you see them all? Yeah. Okay, because I'm not seeing up, apart from the system permission, there should be some more here. So I'm not seeing them. Oh. Okay.
Okay, so assigning app. What is assigning app? <coughs> so assigning app is nothing but if you remember in the classic, we had a drop down on the top right hand side, right? Yeah, these are called app and console. Okay. Okay. So these apps that are being assigned to a user will be assigned from the assign app permission uh, or section. So where is that? It is the first of the uh, yeah here. Custom app settings. You see, this is where you will assign the applications. So right now you have all the uh, apps visible. Only one default and one is not visible for you or for RAM in this profile. Mm. You're understanding it? Yeah. Okay, so whenever uh, you assign an app, right? Remember mm. that you can have only one default app. You cannot have multiple de default apps. Mm. Okay, it's just like, you know, I have the ability of seeing thousand people standing in a queue. When I stand in front of them, I can only see the first person, right? Yeah. Uh, similarly, so even though I have access to you know, uh, n number of apps that has been created, but whatever is uh, set to be default will be the first person and the first person can be only one person anytime, right? Yeah. So the default app can be only one app. Okay. Any questions? It is no. simple check and uncheck. That's it. Nothing more. Okay. okay. Most of the profiles are, it is very easy to manage, but it needs a little uh, understanding and uh, no, uh, full uh, realization of what is the power or uh, no access we are giving. Okay. Okay. So what happens when you assign an app, right? App can have uh, you no know, access to objects. So if you are assigning an app, you need to also assign that objects to them. Okay, what happens to objects when the objects are assigned to user? They are expected to either have the ability of uh, viewing it, reading it, or making changes to it, or creating to it. So we need to give them the CRED permission, CRED permission, which we saw yesterday. Okay. Right? So they these are like interlinked. So when you are doing this, you need to have a complete understanding and complete uh, no, uh, requirement. What needs to be done and what should not be uh, done uh, when you are as a creating a profile. Right? Okay. So assigning app, we saw. Assigning connected app, this is again, it will come in the same category only. Object settings, object settings are something like uh, to which object you want to give them the visibility, right? Let me share, pull it here. Let me uh, stop it. It's nothing but the cred permission. Okay. Object settings are nothing but the thread permission. So you give the read, edit, and delete option. Oh. C R E D, thread. This is a common term used in Salesforce for defining this functionality. When someone talks about thread, you should be uh, uh, aware that they are talking about profile and they are talking about giving the create read edit delete permissions in the profile okay okay so this view all and modify all right what will this give you so if you click on view or modify all by default all the checkboxes will get enabled except for the mm -hmm. view all yeah i have a question here uh what exactly is the difference between app and an object? So app, app includes is, page two, right? Uh, actually, app is a collective. Uh, we saw this, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure whether I took it for you or uh, 
Thiru. Object is a collection of, op uh, I'm sorry, app is a collection of object for to which uh, no, a user can frequently access or, or visit to, to do his task easily. Say for example, we have 100 objects in our uh, environment in the Salesforce, okay? And uh, a specific team will not need to go through all the 100 objects, right? Okay. They only need five or 10. Okay. Right, but a different team would need more. A different team would need less. Okay. Uh, app okay. having constraints about that, we will. That is, you know, advanced uh, admin training course. But just understand this. Now, uh, app is a collective of object that you no know, can be used repetitively or uh, to make the uh, users work easily, easy every day. Right now. Okay. You want me to more elaborate on that? No. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So let's coming so back to the profile. It's a business process, right? Mm -hmm. okay. It's kind of, uh, you can say, uh, uh, no, uh, say for example, a service guy or a sales guy would need access to use uh, account contacts, uh, opportunities, deals, leads. Okay, so uh, instead of having them different places, right now he should he need to go and search for them or uh, no, uh, go through all the other hazard and seeing of all the other tabs. Instead of having ten different tabs, we only give them those four tabs: account, contact, opportunity, deals, and leads, or five tabs. Okay, so okay. that it will be easy for him yeah. to use every day. Uh, Ratish, can you give me just a few minutes? I need to take my medication and come. No problem. Okay. Take it. Take it in.
Hey, Satish, thanks. No problem, Galeni. Uh, so if you remember, the first uh, task was given, like, you know, creating a ta uh, app. That was, was the first uh, task. You created training one app, right? Yeah. Okay, that is the uh, task which was given. Uh, I think I didn't create that. Uh, I created just a product app for this. Did I create the training one also? Yeah, I think, yeah. Maybe yes, yeah, we see the logo, yeah. Right. But I'm not seeing the app here, uh, however. So this is the place where you create the app. So like uh, you create a new app here and you can assign a uh, set of uh, tabs that can be accessed or objects otherwise, right? Okay. Okay, so this is under custom. Uh, so let's continue with this, right? To the profile. Okay, so what is the difference between you all? Uh, okay, you are okay with the apps, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is the difference between modify all and view all? So view all is nothing but to give you the access to see all the records, either you owe it or not. Okay, so say for example, uh, 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 object is set to private. Okay, when uh, there is uh, the access only for the owners to see the records, right? Say for example, uh, when uh, let's take the product ads, right? Product ads, if that is something is set up in a uh, private way that only the owners of the record can see the uh, see or edit the records, not everybody can see and edit the record, but you want. Uh, some special permissions that needs to be given for the managers who can see their record and as well as their subordinates record or on the whole everyone's record are okay. you following me yeah okay so at the time if you give them this view all permission they will have the ability to see the records they owe or others owe without any problem Okay, modify okay. all is the same thing that they will have the ability of editing the other's record as well. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is the cred permission that is about the object access. Now coming to field level, uh, the next one in the lists would be app permissions. Uh, this is like third party applications. This app and these apps are different. Okay, this apps and these app hmm. is different. Okay, these are third party applications uh, that uh -huh. are installed in Salesforce. That are installed okay. in Salesforce, okay. Right, you can install uh, app exchange applications in Salesforce. So for those okay. app, app exchange products, right now, what is the permission you are giving them there? So Apex class, this is for uh, when uh, there is a uh, code created, right? Now, if uh, uh, customization is not possible through the uh, normal admin activity, so we go for code, coding, ap creating Apex class. So uh, okay. those Apex class access are given through this per, uh, option, Apex class access. Again, Visual Force page is similar to it. Uh, where you develop a visual force page through code. This is through code. Again, this access is given in the profile level. Okay. External data source access that is for again, O connect or uh, data connect applications that you install or uh, um, give uh, access through uh, profiles for fetching data from a different source or updating data from uh, to a different source through salesforce okay. 
okay uh, flow axis is a uh, process builder and uh, flow uh, axis so like one minute one minute rajesh one minute sure. i need the i had one drop also in a separate yeah please continue okay flow axis is again a set of uh, ability that you can give them uh, for uh, uh, flows like you know uh, different flows uh, in automation we have process builder and flows right so if you have any mm. flows that will come here you can just give them the access through this okay, okay this is basically. the first time i'm seeing because every time when i was uh, going to use the flow access it would never uh, say yes okay <laughs> oh. okay uh, but flow is also uh, access given through user uh, data uh, user detail as well so here if you see okay. there is another checkbox for flow user right if you check this box then he automatically gets all the flow access nothing to worry about i didn't see i'm sorry i was drinking water that's it can you show me again no i just <laughs> switched that nothing i did. Uh, i'm just in uh, parasuram user detail page oh right and you see there is this checkbox called flow user okay so you okay yeah so this will give him all the access to all the flows nothing you no know, separately need to be given but there is an option to give it in the profile as well so it's okay. nothing that important here when it comes to flow access uh name credential like uh, access uh custom permissions okay so this custom permissions are like uh, the permissions which i told you about uh, giving access to report dashboard exporting data uh, all these uh, custom permissions I may be wrong here. Just, just get the custom permissions. Yeah, custom permissions are created uh, permissions. That uh, something like you know, uh, we create a component. Uh, we create custom permissions. So uh, let's see it here. That right so no permissions are enabled the this custom permissions are nothing but uh the permissions that are manually created by others or uh, the developers mainly okay for uh, uh example uh, when they are developing code there are certain things like you know uh, standard controllers and uh, uh custom controllers okay so there are three types of controllers they use i'm really not familiar with all the three types but there are there is one standard which is uh, basically given by salesforce and the other two are like uh, they use custom pro, uh, uh, controllers and uh, custom uh, custom and standard controllers together okay so when they are using that custom controllers right they do create permissions so when they create permission that can be assigned through this custom permissions okay 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 uh, so custom permissions okay uh again custom metadata it is nothing about uh no the general uh, activity it is again you related to the custom uh, controllers okay okay so custom definition is again custom settings uh like uh, 
there is the option of creating custom settings. These three options are for developers and uh, how they can define it. Uh, once they define it, we can give the access through the profile for the users. Okay, you see the last three custom permission, custom metadata types, and custom definition. These are uh, developer components developed by developers and can be given access to users through profile. Okay. Okay, so coming to the major thing of it page layout, right? So, how a page layout is set up. So here it is in the objects. I'll show you in the profile page. Okay, so this is the important thing again. So we saw that we can have multiple pages created for an object, right? Whichever is being assigned. We saw editing the uh, assignment, right? Page layout edit assignment. Yeah okay yeah uh, so those are uh, no set, those can be set up here as well in the pay, uh, pro profile so when you click on view assignment it will show you what are the page layout that has been assigned to this and you can edit the uh, page layout assignment for this particular profile alone so early when we saw it in the object it was giving us the profiles in the uh, no left hand side and the all the page layouts on the column wise right just like how it is uh -huh. your profile and column wise and you can just click on edit assignment and you can assign the page layer different page layout here so right now we don't have different page layer for this object this is email application publisher layer so there are chances there are nothing more than here Okay, so if say for example, there are five page layouts that has been created and you you want only three page layout access to be given for these profile users, you can set it up here or you can set it up when you're creating the page layout directly. You're following me, right? Yeah. Okay, and you can assign this layouts from here or you can do it from the object as well. Now, when you go to the object and go to the page layouts and you can assign edit the assignment from here and there as well there is uh, both are the same things okay uh -huh. just like it's you have a quick access here and uh, you have to go through the object there that's it okay okay uh, let's uh, see about record type record types also the same thing okay Say for example, uh, user is uh, having a uh, record type assigned to his profile. Now, only we assign record types only to the profiles, right? So, if uh -huh. whatever record types is been assigned to him, uh, assigned to this profile, can be viewed or modified here directly. Okay. Okay. Uh, and field uh, access, field level service, or uh, we. Uh, FSL field security level. Okay. Okay. Field security level is nothing but uh, when you create a field, you give access to create or uh, edit, right? Read or edit. Right? Okay. Do you remember that? Now, when we created fields, right? Uh, you ask yeah. you to uh, give uh, visibility or edit permission. Yeah. Right? So that same access again can be controlled from the page uh, profile pages. Okay, field level security okay. here. If I click on this, it'll show all the fields in the object. What are the permission that has been given to this particular profile? So if you see here, this is a uh, created by lookup. It only has the read access. It not have a, a edit access and so on so forth. These are the fields that are being created in this particular object. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay. So coming to profile, the major role players are the system uh, permissions.
and by the way uh, this tab settings sorry i forgot to mention about this tab settings this tab settings you can uh, there are three options in the tab settings okay one is default one is uh, tab hidden and uh, one is to hide not to tab hide and remove i will okay uh, so if you edit this there will be three options for this particular tab settings default on default off and tab hidden okay. you see that mm. yeah okay uh, so these are the three options what is default on the default on is nothing but whenever you log into salesforce if you are in, having access to this particular uh, you know uh, object that will show up here if it is in this uh, you know, application that you have assigned in in that application if this tab is uh, if this object is given access to right it will show up here now if it is not in default on right it will not show in here what will happen okay. nothing will happen the tab will you will have the access to the tab except that you need to click on the plus symbol you click on the plus symbol here right you've seen that right uh-huh okay when you click on the plus symbol then you will see the tab there otherwise so okay. say for example you see this many tabs right uh, uh -huh. so there are more than what this can hold so you see it under more when you click uh -huh. on this drop down, right but still there are many more uh, tabs available you only see three right uh -huh. this is because only these tabs have the default on Okay, when I yeah. go to okay. mode, yeah, okay, you see that right now. But when I go into this dial pad and view all, you chose the training one here, right. But you see, we have more than what it is. It was showing under the board, right? So forecast, yeah. news, quick text, quick uh, quotes, opportunity, recommendations. All these are not in the home tab directly. So because these are default off. So if the tab is default off, it will come up here. It will not be in the home tab or home screen. You are understanding what so is So they are not hidden or... also, right? No, they are not no. also hidden. They are right. uh, off. Okay. Right. They are just off. Off from this home tab or home screen. So okay. when you are in this home screen, you see those tabs. It is just off so that you have to go here and look for it. Or uh, In classic, there will be a plus symbol here. You have to click there and you can see them. Okay. Uh, however, if it is tab hidden, then you will not see it in here as well. Oh. Oh. Okay, if it is a tab hidden, you will not see it in the view all option also. Okay. Okay. Clear, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's. Okay, so we saw field level X. Okay, now we were about to see system permissions, right? Yeah.
Okay, so admin permissions and system permission. What is admin permission? Admin per permissions are like uh, for administrators to manage certain things and uh, have extra ability. Say for uh, you know, example, uh, you see manage password policy, uh, manage profiles and permission set. So these are the things which will give the admins the access to do it. Okay, so these are actually the admin permissions there are several of them if you scroll down there you will see uh, a list of all options right yeah okay so these are like you no know, the admin access that is given to any user uh, that they can become the admin Okay, so let's see. Uh, Lightning can experience user uh, uh, select file for Salesforce. Let's see. Share the classes answers. So custom application. Custom application is the main permission that you have uh, have to you know uh, give for an admin to do any sort of customizations on object page user detail page anywhere okay so there is one of the main important uh, permission other than that modify all this one of the main important permission manage users okay uh, so these call centers are not that important transferring record view all custom settings is another important uh, uh, Permission. I was looking for I'm looking for classic access. Okay, you see manage profile and permission set here. So what uh -huh. will happen uh, if I just go ahead and uh, give him this permission or this permission or uh, no, uh, custom application permission? So this user, uh, this profile users will become an admin okay okay so basically if you want some delegated admins like limited access right now say uh, i want to have a particular group of users who can manage users right i want to have a particular group of people who can manage report i want to have a particular group of people who can create customized objects and uh, no, uh, manage them. So this is where we set them with the specific set of administrative privileges. Okay. Okay. However, there is two uh, permissions. Okay, which will make them the super admins. So even though you have all these permissions given, right? There are two main permission that has to be given uh, to make a admin super powerful, right? Which are they modify all and view all. So this is not we are talking. We are not talking about the cred permission modify all and view all. This is within the yeah. administrative permission. There is something called modify all and view all. Okay. So you see here, modify all. This is within the administrative permissions, right? And same thing, view okay. all is also one among them. For some reason, it's stuck. How is the weather there? Is it very hot? No, it's a monsoon for uh, this oh. year. This time. Good that you are in the Hyderabad. In oh, okay. Yeah, Hyderabad is actually better than uh, Chennai compared to on Chennai, climate. Yeah. And I know water. 
<laughs> yeah, but uh, during summers there will be water scarcity. That is all all over India that you know lack of uh, oh. water management. Unfortunate. Yeah. So here, if you see this right now, view all data. So if you give this view all data and modify all data, no matter what it is, no uh, what record or what uh, object it is. Uh, admin will have the access to make any changes to that record is uh, irrespective of who is the owner or uh, whether this uh, object is given the permission the uh, user has the object uh, visibility or no credit permissions nothing matters okay. are you following okay so if okay. i say uh, I have not given any credit permission for any of the custom objects that I have created, right? For this profile, uh -huh. I just have to check these two checkboxes, view all and modify all, and I don't have to do anything else. Okay, that mm. user will have access to everything, and he can create, delete, edit, or uh, even uh, uh, no uh, do anything on the object okay okay so along with this three uh, uh, check boxes custom application checkbox view all modify all data checkbox right if we have these three check boxes a user can be uh, no, uh, creating objects creating uh, page layouts he can uh, uh, update any record whatsoever in this particular or okay that powerful it is so we give these three uh, no options very minimal we will not give okay. you all data modify all data and custom application permission to all the profiles or users so uh, is there any org level uh... Uh, permission set or control yes yes org level controls okay. are there we will see it okay okay shortly after uh, you know this uh, full understanding of profile the reason why i'm concentrating on profile before we go there is because org level is very uh, small syllabus uh, to understand it, okay. it there are nothing much but profile okay is something uh, you need to be understanding more in detail, which will take a lot of time. No, no problem. Okay. Uh, so here, if you see, you will have access to reports, dashboards, uh, creating report folders, managing libraries, managing applications. Okay. So and, and uh, all the features, right, that are being given by Salesforce, all the feature that are being given by Salesforce can be given access through this profile admin and system ad, uh, uh, permissions. Okay, these are okay. the two places where you see all the features that are given by Salesforce. Okay. And this is for features only. Admin and system permissions are only for features, nothing more. It this uh, now here we are not going to see anything like you know give edit permission for this particular object or uh, access uh, uh, to any records from this object no that is not going to be here but this is all features this is completely 100 percent related to only features and how you can uh, customize the salesforce okay. are you following yeah okay so i have covered the major things that the uh the report i'm sorry the permissions which are very important in this phase right are report manage uh, manage all private reports and dashboard and manage all public reports and dashboard one permission create public folder uh second so you see manage dashboard in public folder manage report in public folder will also be there okay create uh public folders for reports and dashboards view all data modify all data view all users custom application uh, 
So here you see view reports in public folder. So those are the very important permissions which we often use in this admin permissions. Right? Okay. Okay. Others we don't mingle around unless if it is really needed that is you know something uh, we will study and we will give them the access but otherwise we will not give them or we will not make any changes to the uh, admin permissions or system permissions in the profile so why are we so uh, yesterday you might have had the question right why are we cloning a profile why can't we create a new profile right when you saw here in the profile it's easy for one thing <laughs> exactly it is easy and you don't have to you know uh, remember all this check boxes that needs to be uh, checked mm. for uh, no for a specific profile because the yeah. profiles yeah. are all permissions are already set up uh, the admin permissions or system permissions are already set up right mm -hmm. so it is very easy for us to mimic it instead of me knowing it 100 percent right no one knows mm -hmm. the profile mm -hmm. setup 100 percent but these are the major uh you no know, permission that play uh, that we middle around uh when it comes to profiles but other than mm -hmm. that no one knows the 100 percent permissions that are in the profiles uh however it is not easy for you to remember everything and go and check all those checkboxes uh, because as human error we tend to either have one extra or one less permission right so that is the reason why we clone the permission and we reuse that okay. right just a second uh, and uh, there is one more uh, important permission about here that is uh, for community for community access to create community and manage community you will have the permission here but however creating communities and managing communities is not the basic admin stuff it's advanced but how the permissions are uh, given here for creating and managing communities okay 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 so your homework would be just to glance at the uh, all the permissions that are in this permission set uh -huh. you cannot mug it up you cannot uh, remember everything so that is okay but just have a glance of all the permissions in this uh, permissions uh, application uh, sorry admin permission